Hello friends, good to have you here back at my channel. What is happening to Chinese tech stocks right now? Is China really giving Chinese tech stocks a chance? Under immense economic pressure and rising unemployment, China has adapted its policies by currently releasing pressure on Chinese tech stocks. The current questions right now should be, will the end of crackdown last? And if no, how long will this last? With this, let's start to have a look at Xiaomi's 1Q2022 results. I have to say that I'm not too pleased with Xiaomi management for its results in 4Q2021 and 1Q2022. Xiaomi is really not delivering in the smartphone market in China, with honors coming back strongly in 1Q2022. Xiaomi had to settle with a number 5 position in China, with declining demand in China and much uncertainties in global markets in 1Q2022, Xiaomi instead continued to maintain a few causes for the decline in smartphone market share, including supply chain constraints and macroeconomic headwinds, etc. As an investor in Xiaomi, I really do not want to hear excuses. Apple clearly didn't have cheap supply issues. Why did Xiaomi have such problems? I even read SMIC's recent releases and noted that there is a sharp fall in demand for chips going forward. So what is the problem with Xiaomi right now? I believe the competitive landscape in China for the smartphone market is getting tougher and more challenging. Naturally, smartphone revenue for Xiaomi continued to decline quarter on quarter and year on year. What is worse is that gross margin dipped below 10%. Management attributed to sales strategy and inventory strategy as they are clearing some old stocks in the inventory. Is it really the case? Is this worrying? How is Xiaomi going to level up to meet competition? This is the question to ask. So far, I've not seen a comforting point from Xiaomi management regarding to Xiaomi's competition in the smartphone sector. As for IoT segment, Internet of Things segment for Xiaomi, it takes a hit as well given that China's economy takes a big hit given the COVID lockdown and considering that China is likely to be a major contributor to the revenue for Xiaomi in the area of IoT, the drastic slowdown in China has definitely weighed on Xiaomi's revenue in 1Q2022. The saving grace right now is that the internet segment of Xiaomi, which although has dipped but continue to let investors have some hope in Xiaomi's growth engine, which is a new engine that can potentially bring in significant revenue going forward. The fall in gross margin is slightly a concern, though not unexpected. I have reviewed Tencent's financials and noted that advertising revenue slowdown is a norm, and Xiaomi's wanting to maintain its revenue in advertising may have to give more discounts and incentives and thereby leading to lower gross margin for internet segment. The electric vehicle segment has also incurred around 425 million renminbi of expenses, which hit Xiaomi adjusted net profit in 1Q2022, coupled with increasing staff costs and R&D expenses, adjusted net margin is only around 4%. Operating expenses ratio is 13.6%, which is 3 percentage points higher than the same quarter last year. So we've actually adjusted back of this 3%. Differential compared to 1Q2021, we'll see easily another 2.1 billion renminbi of potential income. The electric vehicle division that chips away 0.6% of margin given the cost of 425 million renminbi expenses in 1Q2022 should not be seen as a negative given that the electric vehicle segment is going to be likely another growth engine for Xiaomi going to 2023, 2024, and 2025 because the mass production is going to happen in 2024. All in all, a current share price of 11.74 Hong Kong dollar, which is around 300 billion Hong Kong dollar of market cap for Xiaomi. Xiaomi isn't cheap given current economic outlook of China and the challenge it faced in the smartphone market. The question to think through is whether China authorities will be able to revise its economy in the second half of 2022 and whether can Xiaomi management deliver on its promise to become the number one smartphone seller in the world. Right now, Apple is number one, Samsung is number two. We will hold on to my current investment in Xiaomi and see how China's economy pans out in 2022 and 2023.
if I do not have any investment in Xiaomi, I will probably acquire a lot of Xiaomi shares if it ever dips below 10 Hong Kong dollar, which would be a very attractive entry point given the various growth engine, particularly the internet segment and the electric vehicle segment, which is likely to generate profit in 2024 and 2025 onwards. As always, this should not be construed as any investment or trading advice. Thank you.